Hi there, we're continuing our progress through the book of Proverbs. We're in chapter 2 and we're going from verses 6 to 15. So Solomon, the wise man here, the wise king, is speaking words to his son of encouragement to wisdom. He's saying, listen to my instruction. And here he says, the Lord gives wisdom. The Lord gives chokhmah. And this we keep saying, chokhmah, wisdom, is a word that isn't just about having lots of facts up here. It's not the idea, Greek idea of Sophia, of having a collection of knowledge. Chokhmah is about life lived, is about good well-lived life and it's life that actually applies the basis of wisdom which is the awe of the Lord the fact that we know that the Lord is the source of all things means that we live in ways which uh, which bear out our understanding and our knowledge it says that the Lord treasures up wisdom for the righteous for those who are straight for those who want to live straight lives he keeps the paths it says in verse 8 keeps the path of judgment uh, and equity now Judgment is something that we don't like the idea of. But the word in Hebrew, mishpat, is a very powerful word. It actually has to do with right-wising, with setting things to rights, with restoring the balance. Uh, remember, at the beginning, God says no to the chaos and he puts order into the world. That's the kind of balance we're talking about, the mishpat of God. And so he gives God, he gives man the ability to be able to, to see his ways by bringing order and bringing equity, by bringing uprightness, straightness to things that so often go awry and go crooked. And then he says, let discretion preserve you. Let wisdom preserve you. Again, don't get mixed up with the evil ones. Don't get mixed up with those who are intent on not living in the fear of the Lord. Those who are intent, the fool is the one who lives uh, without uh, the, the, the understanding, without being sourced in the goodness of God. And they walk away from the, the straight ways. They walk on the crooked ways. They walk in the ways of darkness. And they enjoy doing evil. When, when someone enjoys doing evil, they're in the wrong place. We need to be uh, making sure that we're looking to live life wisely, which is living out of God's uh, God's justice, God's order, uh, and God's the, the fear of God, the awe of God. Let's continue today to pursue wisdom, to pursue chachmah, to pursue this well-lived life, resourced and sourced in the wonder and awe of the Lord. Have a good day.